it's going to be with me, you know, the rest of my life. Why did he catch that bullet and I didn't? I had to give up my entire psyche to go to war. It was about when he was two years old that we received the diagnosis of his autism disorder. Tristan was just hyper. His mind doesn't stop, just all over the place all the time. If something like a flashing light or a fan or something like that caught his eye, he would just instantly be drawn to it and completely lose focus of what was going on at the time. We founded Retrieving Freedom, a nonprofit organization on the core principles of two individuals, myself, Scott Dewey, and Charles DeWire, who believe after God there are three factors in our lives that we want to bring together. One, our families and our children. Two, the freedoms that we are provided by our military of this country that we live in. And three, the unconditional love of our dogs. The combination of these factors built the Retrieving Freedom Organization for the training and placement of service dogs with disabled veterans and children with autism. A dog can nudge and break anxiety. You know, a dog can get on your lap when you're in a situation that you know, things aren't going the best or the way you wanted them to. A dog can jump up out of the bed in the middle of a nightmare at night and run over and turn your light switch on and wake you up and jump back on bed and lick your face. Okay, all those things that you cannot do by yourself. Okay, that's why it's a service dog because it's a disability that you have that you cannot do by yourself. Helping them acclimate back into society, uh, helping them to be able to experience the things that we do on a daily basis without thinking about um, you know, the privileges that we've had or the opportunities that have been given to us. It's not really about the dogs, it's more about the people that are going to be getting the dog. On my daughter's birthday, um, Macy's, I got to have her enjoy her company at Applebee's. Uh, she wanted to go to Applebee's. So we went there and I actually got to enjoy and spend time with my family and actually conversate with them. Um, and I had copper and due to having copper, I was able to enjoy my daughter's birthday. Six months ago, when I met him, uh, he wouldn't even look me in the eye when he talked to me. And now he's going, he's at the class talking in front of the, all the students. He's been at several uh, American Legion functions where he's talked in front of a lot of people. Uh, it, it changed his life. But it goes way beyond that, especially with local veterans within our community and within the area, because you can get a service dog and you can help train the service dog and you can get into public and you can help fundraise and you can meet new people and you can really have a whole um, picture there that puts things together that, that are hard to, to fight with post-traumatic stress. He's kind of been there by my side and pulling me through those uh, things that really just uh, my triggers. After we were matched up with two then, then we began training with Retrieving Freedom. The first thing we worked on was just the tethering process and having Tristan walk with two. And it, it, he caught on pretty quick, but you know, we had to teach Tristan that anytime he walked with the dog, he had to hold on to the handle. Because initially when he uh, wore his vest and the vest was tethered to the dog, he just kind of would try to run around and if he saw something, he'd still might bolt to it. Um, but once he learned that he doesn't go anywhere unless he's holding his handle and he's um, walking with the dog, he kind of picked on it quick and then it, it really worked pretty well after that. He's just helped him focus more. He's When two is here, and just present in the same room. He doesn't have to be sitting right next to two, but just in the room. He, Tristan's mood just completely calms, so he's able to focus more on whatever task he is doing. This dog is a godsend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just a sense of relief. I mean, this dog knows when people are stressed. They're just, they're just there for the child. He's a different, different child, completely different. He's. He's not all over the place like he was before. He is calmer, even when the dog's not around, but you definitely notice much more of a difference when she is. We're able to go and do things together, and Tristan's able to interact with more people, and Jake's able to go out and interact with more people, and it's just this, it's an unexplainable thing to, to feel 
his safety and our and, and us to just have this calm. These dogs are saving lives. By donating to Retrieving Freedom, you're helping a veteran get a tool um, that'll help him reintegrate into society. Why shouldn't people donate to Retrieving Freedom? Yeah, it's just an amazing opportunity to, to do something very small that has major ramifications and, and a huge impact for other people. I said for a long time, it's kind of ironic what dog spelled backwards is. Freedom's not free. There's no question it's not free. But now what we have to look at is what we can give back or what we can do for the freedoms that were provided. People every day risk their lives for ours. Gave their lives, their limbs, uh, some cases their sanity, so that we could live like we do today. And we often forget what others have done, what others have sacrificed, um, time, money, lives, um, to be able to enjoy the things that we do. There are sacrifices that have to be made and that's where the cost comes from. They're out there, they're, they're fighting for our freedom, and, and freedom is not free. Thank you to all of the past, present, and future donors, contributors, volunteers, families, and veterans that support these same values that Retrieving Freedom was founded upon. We need your support to continue to provide these veterans and children with a service dog that will allow a life with a new degree of independence.